Welcome to another Max to Play tutorial. Today we will have a look at two handy little extensions from our list, the SD card protection plugin and the password protection plugin. Now first of all, the password protection plugin, it's pretty self-explanatory, but it's also actually pretty useful, especially if you have other parties in your network that you don't want to access your web interface, you can set up a password request and keep the people out that you want to keep out from your max to play device. Once again, you can find the extension on our website, max2play.com, in the section Features, Extensions. There you will find the URL for the installation, which you enter here and click Install New Plugin. Once you've done that, it will show up right here in the Available Plugins section. And as you can see here, I've already done that, so we just have to put it into the Active Plugins section and click Save. Now, under the Password Protection setup, you can see here, not only can you set up the password protection, you can also change the password for the root and for the user. However, we are just going to keep it with these little username password protection setups. And here we just have to type in username and password and click install. And our password protection is installed. And now anybody else who wants to enter into max to play has to first enter this username and password that we just set up. So now if we go to another browser and type in max to play you can see here an authentication is required. You have to enter the username and the password to get in. Now, that's pretty much it for the password protection setup. If you want to get rid of it, you just click uninstall and it's removed. And now we come to our SD card protection plugin. And this plugin is especially useful if you use your max to play device as an audio player, since it makes it more robust and can protect you from any kind of problems with your SD card. Because if you have your max to play device set up and it somehow loses its power supply, that can damage the SD card and cause further damage to your system and in order to prevent that you can set up this SD card protection and the file system will then be in a read-only mode which will allow you to have your audio player running without problems and all you have to do here is click install and wait a few seconds and as you can see here it's already set up all that's needed now is a reboot and that's pretty much it for another max to play tutorial. Please be sure to check out our other videos and visit our website for all available extensions and also updates once new ones come out. Thanks for watching.